Hey folks, Dr. Bob McCauley. I had a little bit more to say about iodine. It is such an important mineral. So a couple more details on that. Check out all my books on audible.com. Iodine is used by every cell in the body. Um, it, its main function is maintain metabolism of the body. And, um, you know, and so you're feeding your thyroid. And iodine is, is key for uh, thyroid hormones. We know that. Uh, normal growth, neurological development, and metabolism. So that's its main purpose. And um, there's really, I said yesterday, uh, you know, there's very few places to get this in the plant world. Um, and, you know, so I started looking at some other videos. Sources for great iodine, well, they're all animal. You know, they talk about sea fish and then, of course, crustaceans, you know, like, uh, you know, shrimp and lobster, that kind of stuff accumulating. But they're accumulating the iodine. They don't produce it, so they accumulate it. And uh, so the, the smaller fish don't have as much iodine as the bigger fish, and they eat all the smaller fish. But then, you know, they get more iodine that way, so it's the big fish. But then, of course, the big fish are full of toxins because, again, they're, they live a lot longer. The tuna has been shown for lots of mercury, and this is natural tuna right out of the ocean. Lots of mercury because they accumulate that in their flesh. So you're doing the same thing with the iodine, accumulating something good, but then when you accumulate something good, you probably are going to accumulate something bad as well. So, you know, we're back to where you're going to get iodine, where there's two sources. Uh, one of them is brown seaweed extract. So concentrated kelp or a brown seaweed extract, which is what I have, it's 40 times concentrated. Um, and that's extremely high in iodine. It's off the scales. I mean, there's really no plant foods. I mean, land plant foods that have kelp, like the highest one would be uh, that I've seen is buckwheat. And the other one would be liquid angstrom iodine, which is something I sell. I take it all the time. You get a little sleepy after in the afternoon. And you're starting to nod off. You know, just take about a teaspoon or a cap full of that. It wakes you up. Takes about five minutes, and your metabolism picks up your metabolism. So that that is those two great sources for iodine. You know, we have like a couple two to th two and a half to three million kids, children around the world that are iodine deficient, and it's such an important mineral. So. What are the signs? Well, chronic fatigue, hair loss, I hear that all the time. People ask me, I'm losing my hair. A lot of common in women, uh, or brittle hair, you know, bad looking hair. Uh, sudden weight gain, unable to lose weight, that's another one. Cold feet or hands, you have no circulation, you have no metabolism. Uh, just generally cold, cold all the time, even in the summer you're cold. That could be iodine deficiency. You know, any of these could be caused by something else other than iodine deficiency, but you got three or four or five on the list, you, you want to really take a look at it. Uh, you know, depression, uh, depressed mood all the time, everything's going good, but you just feel uh, still really depressed, uh, dry skin, flaky skin, uh, brain fog, memory loss, uh, you know, you walked in the room, can't remember why you walked in there. Um, you know, and this continue, I mean, it happens to everybody, but, you know, if it's constantly going on like that, it could be it. Goiter, which is an enlarged thyroid, just feel it if it looks a little big, that's a diodine deficiency. You're craving carbohydrates all the time, you want tons of rice, tons of noodles. I know people like that, they're carboholics, and they just want that stuff all the time, so that could be it. Uh, changes in your heart rate, they go up and they go down, and, you know, that definitely, because your metabolism is not being fed, so it's kind of irregular. Um, and there's a couple other ones, and people don't know about these as well. But uh, eyebrows that don't go over eyebrows that don't go over the the the, the eyes all the way. They kind of stop in the middle. That's a good sign of iodine deficiency. And then there's one more when you're standing there, and and your hands are just you're just relaxed. And uh, let me get back a little bit here. So you're just kind of out like this. You, your hand should be in more like this. If they're turned out, that's probably an iodine deficiency. Um, if you look at pictures of my family um, from you know well over 100 years ago, the whole family is standing like that with their 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 hands faced outward, and they all had a iodine deficiency. And my aunt Mary told me they used to put the iodine, which is another quick solution where you take the iodine tincture, put it right in your thyroid. But she would do that because she, you know, they knew all this kind of stuff. We forgot it when once we get the doctors and the pharmaceuticals and the medical establishment, we forgot all these home remedies. Really kind of sad. So, um, you know, she used to do that. And that was because where they lived in New Mexico, there's the like huge amounts of fluoride in the water, in the groundwater there, 18 parts per million. I mean, that's off the charts. So that's how they all became iodine deficiency because, deficient because fluoride, um, you know, interferes with, with iodine uptake.
Another thing you can do to test for iodine deficiency is take, uh, I'll go out and get yourself some iodine at the store, it'll be brown. You take a, take a spot, you can put it on your leg, a lot of people suggest you put it on your leg, uh, like on your thigh, and you'll see a brown spot there. So in 24 hours, if the brown spot is still there, then you don't have an iodine deficiency. If after 24 hours that's disappeared, you do have an iodine deficiency. So you want, you want to go in and test for that, um, and uh, I would hi highly recommend that. You're testing uh, this THS, you go down to your doctor. Uh, they have the, some, um, you know, things you can buy in the pharma pharmacies. You can buy your own home tests, or you can get a blood work done. That's, I think, a little bit more accurate. Um, but THS, a thyroid stimulating hormone. Um, so just get a t test for that, and then you'll find out your iodine levels. And if it's really, really uh, high, the number, well then you're low um, on, in uh, thyroid, you're not producing enough, um, you know, th you know the thyroid glands here, thyrosine, so you're not producing that. And they're going to put you on a drug if they if they see the in the medical establishment. Not me, I'm going to put you on some of these natural things and tell you to start taking them and that will fix that little problem. So I just want to go over that one more time, Th uh, iodine is so important, um, but those hands facing out are really the way to kind of, uh, you know, um, check on that. It's kind of a little known um, remedy or indication, I should say, of, of thyroid deficiency and uh, metabolism deficiency. I don't know why that is like that, but it, but it is. Anyway, I hope that helps. Dr. Bob, see you next time. Hey folks, check out all my books on Amazon.com. Uh, I've written seven books now, uh, but this one's on Audible, Silver, the Miracle Mineral, End of Infectious Disease, uh, The Cure in the Mirror, Nature's Protocol for Surviving Cancer, that's on Audible. And then my most popular book, I have sold tens of thousands of these books through the years, never promoted it, never marketed it. It is the Miraculous Properties of Ionized Water, the definitive guide to the world's healthiest substance. Third edition, I revamped the whole thing. It's on Audible too. So those are all read by the author's voice, my voice, and I hope you like them.